Okay guys, James Milne, E42. Video three on how to install Polyglot. So we got the Polyglot front end interface up here. We've got all the command line stuff done. Uh, we've got our RASP being installed. We've got Polyglot itself installed. And at the end of the last video, we finally got here. So now we'll go ahead and log into the front end, uh, username and password, or just admin. So go ahead and log in there. And you'll notice at the top, the ISY was automatically discovered, um, and here's the IP address it was discovered at. However, we use the default username admin and admin. If for whatever reason ISY is not admin and admin, as it shouldn't be, then you will obviously have to uh, put in the username and password. So we go to the settings page. Uh, this is the ISY that was found. If it wasn't found for whatever reason, maybe you got a funky network, maybe you got multiple ISYs, whatever, just pop in the username or pop in the address. Uh, if you want to use SSL or HTTPS, go ahead and do so. Pop in your password. Okay, and save. Okay, you'll see at the bottom, it ISY was now found, and it is version 5012 in this particular instance. So be aware that that will change as soon as you save it. If it, if it sees it, then you will get the version number from the ISY. If we want to change our password for Polyglot itself, we go ahead and populate that. We'll go to the add node server. Notice we can't add any node servers at the moment. There is no uninstalled node servers currently available. Either none are installed or the server information is missing. So obviously we don't have any installed. We haven't installed any yet. And then we look at the dashboard and we'll notice that there is absolutely nothing there. Now, since we just connected to the ISY, every couple of minutes, uh, Polyglot will reach out to the ISY to see if there's any um, node servers that are installed in the ISY that it's not controlling, and we call those unmanaged node servers. Uh, things like that, or node link, um, ISY portal, things to that effect. So every couple of minutes, it'll reach out and sync with ISY um, and bring in any here. So if we wait a couple of minutes, we will actually get the ISY portal because I do have that installed in my node server. We'll get ISY portal brought into uh, this dashboard page. Uh, we have our home button, which is literally just the splash screen. Uh, we have the button to reboot ISY. Uh, thankfully, Michelle and Chris have, have changed it now so we don't have to reboot the ISY every time that we upload a new profile. And that is so, so, so great because we used to have to reboot the entire ISY every time we uploaded a profile and uh, it got pretty tedious after a while especially if you're installing for the first time and want to install a bunch of different node servers it just really got uh, got to be tedious so thanks to them for getting that done that was awesome so now we can just go ahead and install our node servers so we'll look at the node server store and currently we have 23 different node servers in the node server store. Um, three months, 23 node servers, very proud of that. A lot of these guys have done amazing work um, writing all these different integrations for us. So I'm so, so, so thankful to all of them. The community has really stepped up here. So what I would do is I just come in here, find you a couple that you, uh, you want to test with. Uh, you could use LifeX, Hue, I'll use LifeX here. So we'll just hit the install button. It'll ask us if we want to, if we really want to install it. Uh, when we went through the Polyglot install, it actually installed Git for us. And basically what the install process behind the scenes does is it clones the GitHub repo uh, for this node server um, and then runs an install process to, to install any prerequisites that specific node server may have. So if we go ahead and hit OK here, Scroll up to the top, it'll tell us that it's installing LifeX. And to please wait, if we wait just a few minutes, it actually uh, runs some stuff behind the scenes to process any prerequisites, like I said. And we can actually go to, uh, go to the log and look, and we'll do that in just a minute. But you'll notice it finally finished here. So it says the process was complete, add in the add node server tab. If we look at the log, you can see that it was actually grabbing some of the prerequisite polyglot interface, um, some other Python packages that it needs to run this particular node server. Okay, 
So then, here we go. It finally brought ISY portal over here every couple of minutes. So there you can see the unmanaged node service. So if then we go ahead and add our LifeX node server, you'll notice now that it doesn't. It shows that the LifeX one is available. It shows us the available node server slots. One is not an option because if we go back to dashboard, ISY portal is actually number one. So we can install in two through ten. So they are going to upgrade, update that to 25. I think they actually did in the latest version. So in the next version of Polyglot, I will update that so that we have 25 slots available. Okay. So we'll just pick two. Doesn't really matter. The number is arbitrary. Makes no difference as long as only one server is on each one. Okay. Says it's typically only necessary to restart the admin console. This is what I was talking about. We used to have to reboot the ISY. Um, but now we can just restart the admin console. I don't even have the admin console open. I will wait for just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK there. In the background, that actually updates or uploads the profile, uh, creates everything else. You'll notice the LifeX is starting to populate there. I'll go ahead and bring up my ISY. And you'll notice in the background here, LifeX is connected. It's starting to populate nodes. Okay, and you'll see as they get created here, the LifeX node server is going through its, its startup process. Okay, so if we look in the, the nodes section, we can actually see all the different nodes. This is just kind of a quick view. These are not real-time stats. But if you go to the detailed view and show it here, you'll actually see the real-time driver stats for each one of the, the drivers. Uh, this does not need to be updated. It is real time. And you can look at any polling that may need to be done. Uh, the actual log for the node server itself. Okay. And you'll notice you are my three. In this particular case, I only have one bulb uh, named lamp. And then I'll have my controller interface, which Polyglot itself creates. This shows us the node servers online. Uh, this is one that all the node servers have just so you can tell this is updated by Polyglot itself to know if your node servers crashed. You can do some monitoring on that as well. Um, and then you can, you know, obviously you have your control for your bulb in this particular case. So I can set to red. Ooh, it's nice. Or warm white, more importantly. And again, you can see it updating the drivers with the correct values as we go. Okay. So at this point, you have your first node server installed, everything's working. Now it's time to go play, find yourself whatever node servers you want to go with and go to town. Uh, please give us some feedback in the in the forums, so forumsuniversaldevices.com and we're looking forward to it. Thanks guys.